Hello, my name is Curtis Dykstra, Parks Naturalist with Ottawa County Parks. The 2023 Coffee with the Birds Mug Club Photo Contest had 85 entries. With so many great photos, it was difficult to narrow down to four honorable mention winners and one grand prize winner to go on our 2024 Mug Club member mug. To highlight the amazing winning photos, we've interviewed all five winners. Jeannie Stoddard, Lucas Timmer, Carl Manning, Andy Byerly, and Ryan Beebe, asking them to give us a glimpse into the story behind their amazing photos. We'll start with the grand prize winner, Jeannie Stoddard. Enjoy. Hi, my name is Jeannie Stoddard. I'm from Grand Haven, Michigan. I took the picture of the Cape May Warbler at historic Ottawa Beach County Park. When I go birding, I'm usually um, very rarely alone. I have my significant Tim and I, we go together. Um, he's better at the, the vocals mm -hmm. and I'm better at the visuals. So, mm -hmm. you know, that, that kind of helps that we do it together. The day that I took the photograph of the Cape May Warbler was actually my 65th birthday. And it was also Mother's Day, so a Sunday. We decided to go up uh, looking for some warblers at the West Boardwalk. And I had a male Baltimore Oriole posing very nicely that I was able to photograph. And also a Scarlet Tanager, which I have seen a lot of times and never seem to get a great photo of. So, and then all of a sudden, uh, I saw this Cape May warbler like land right next to me on the shrubbery and trees. And it was flitting around and I was just snapping away, hoping to get something because it was just so beautiful. And um, I was pretty pleased with the photograph that I had taken. I'm very, very new at it, so it's been a, a very big learning curve and a, 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 a lot of struggle to get good photographs. And um, when I saw this and you could see the feathering and you could see the eye and the bird was looking at me, I thought it was a good photograph, but there's so many good photographs that get turned in every year. I, I didn't know, but it's, it's very exciting and actually Friends and family want cops, which is crazy. I have always enjoyed nature and kind of the, the birding thing. We're, we're birders that are kind of that whole group of people that ended up starting doing this with COVID, which actually coincided with my retirement from teaching, which I never had time uh, to do all of the things I loved to do before. And so it combines a love of nature and hiking and traveling and photography and um, even you know I'm a really fast-paced person so slowing down and some meditative times when you're just looking at the birds and watching uh, the scenery is really really nice. Being an educator I'm used to really learning about things and I really enjoy that part of it and the minutia of looking at them the specifics of each bird and every time uh, we have a new species we like going to find them too. If they're if they're a chase, that's kind of fun. We have the time and energy to do that a lot of times. So we go and chase after a few birds and that element of that is kind of fun. And if we don't find it, we just make another adventure out of it, so. My name is Lucas Timmer. I'm from Holland, Michigan. And I took the photo of the Eastern Kingbird at Historic Ottawa Beach, which is an Ottawa County Park. So I started birding uh, back in 2020. So during the pandemic, I got really into bird watching uh, like a lot of people did. And C Curtis is one of those people that really was one of my mentors for that. So, so since getting into birding, uh, I was inspired to join the Washington Islands Audubon Society out of Grand Haven. And I've gotten really into uh, habitat coordination. So Washington Islands has made me the habitat coordinator. And I have been working hard at trying to promote bird habitat um, for our wonderful birds of Ottawa County. I work in Holland as a civil engineer and well, our office fortunately is very close to Historic Ottawa Beach, which is one of my favorite spots to go bird watching. So I like to visit Historic Ottawa Beach frequently and that's one of the best spots that I know of in the area for neotropical migrants. So, uh, the day that I ended up going out, uh, I was looking for different warbler species to be in the area and I brought my camera and I was more with the intent to take a picture of, of any sort of migrating warbler, but I happened to stumble upon an eastern kingbird 
And I'm like, man, I've never been this close to a kingbird before. So I pulled out my camera and then I realized it was eating a wasp, which I'm not much of a fan of wasps uh, as I'm allergic to them. So I was pretty happy to see a kingbird helping me out and eating that wasp. So it was a real treat to get photos of that and have a kingbird that wasn't even concerned about my presence at all. And when I took that photo, I thought I'd maybe have a good shot at at least being an honorable mention because it seems like Ottawa County Parks likes photos of birds eating different foods like the cedar waxwing last year. So I was uh, thrilled to get it and am honored to be awarded uh, honorable mention this year. Thank you. Hi, I'm Carl Manning. I took the picture of the green heron um, this spring walking through Zealand High School wetlands. They have a couple of ponds and a paved trail. And it's a nice place to walk. We had completed a loop around the, the, the ponds and as we came back, there was a green heron standing there on a, on a log. And we watched it for about 10 minutes. And he just slowly crept on a log and eventually tried for a fish. I don't remember if he caught it, but the, the picture shows him on his way down, uh, working his way down the log. I used a a Canon R7 with a 600 millimeter lens. Um, I use that quite a bit. Uh, processed a bit in Lightroom. I knew it was pretty good. Um, just you could see that it was quite sharp. And I, I liked the, the foot coming out, uh, showing some motion. And that, that kind of, so, well, that's, that's one that's worthy of further submission. <laughs> and, uh, Kind of kept it around. I, I marked it, uh, keyworded in, in, in Lightroom, and when it came time to look for it, I, I came back. And said, I think that's a good choice. If you get the honorable mention enough times, eventually one of those has to be a mug worthy. So we just keep keep submitting. So I, I appreciate Otto County doing the, this mug club and uh, the uh, photo competition. It's, it gets everybody out and looking for looking for birds and. We get to all share uh, some good photography, so thank you. Hello, I'm Andy Byerly. I took the picture of the Eastern Bluebird in my backyard uh, here in West Olive. I started falling in love taking pictures of birds because there were a lot of them in different counties and stuff. We moved here just about three years ago and found fascinating number of species of birds and a lot of people that supported them through the park here and. Uh, all the people are telling us about where to go and stuff. There's, the friendliness of people is just incredible. Uh, the bluebirds have always specifically interested me because they're so magnificent. You know, uh, we literally have chased them all over the state, but over here, we. so when I moved into the house, I started building bluebird houses and they're all over the place. And now that they seem to like my architecture or whatever, and I built a lot more of them, they seem to come, come keep coming back. Uh, they attract all kind of other birds as well, which are kind of interesting. I was actually quite lucky to catch, catch the uh, the bluebird out in, on the bow. It, uh, I was photographing the wood ducks on, on a pond in our backyard, and uh, they were kind of going around and kind of got bored, and I turned the camera, and sure enough, one of my favorite bluebirds had landed on a pine tree not too far away from me. So I opened up that side of the blind and just started taking the pictures. Was fortunate enough, they were very close to me, and I had a, a little bit longer lens that a lot of people carry, but they're getting to be pretty usual now, and the birds came in pretty pretty close. Lighting was just just absolutely perfect. You got to be out there early in the morning, so it's always cold. But um, it was great fun. One of the things I love most about birding is not the birds; it's the people you get to meet while you're out there. Uh, we've had a great deal of fun here in Ottawa counties. Every one of them, the people that we meet are just so wonderful, sharing their ideas and what they've seen and where they're going. And nobody has everything wants to help you out and do doing the best so it's just kind of like I hope everybody can continue working this way together because it is just wonderful to be part of this whole community. I'm Ryan Beebe and I live in Georgetown Township and I took the photo of the prothonotary warbler at Eastmanville Bayou County Park. So I'm actually fairly new to birding. Um, I'm, I'm a biology professor at Calvin and Grand Rapids, but I'm actually trained as an anatomist and a marine mammal paleontologist. So I came to birds just a few years ago, really, during the pandemic, when we started to pay attention to the birds that were coming to our bird feeders at home. 
Um, and a friend told me about eBird. I started making some lists at home. But then it was actually a field trip that my oldest son took to Hemlock Crossing with his school, um, where he found out about Coffee with the Birds. And the two of us went to Coffee with the Birds just a couple of days later. And before I knew it, I was signing up for field trips to go out with Curtis and the group to start to identify birds in the area. And I was addicted right away. It was just super fun to go out and learn about all these birds that I'd never really noticed before. And the Ottawa County birding community has also been one that's just been so fun to be a part of. A lot of great people who are out there just enjoying being together and teaching one another and exploring just these amazing creatures that we share our region with. On the day that this photo was taken, I had actually spent the morning at uh, Crockery Creek. And I'd been there like an hour and a half and I was headed home and I was just crossing the river by Eastmanville Bayou and I realized, oh, my wife and kids don't need me home for a few more minutes. So why don't I just stop here really quick and see if I encounter anything fun. And within 60 seconds of being on the trail, I was getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. So I'm thinking, I am not going to be here very long. And so I walked along the trail for a few minutes and I, I hear the sweet, 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 sweet. And I had learned at that point that that was a prothonotary warbler. And this was one of the warblers that I really hadn't gotten really good looks at yet. I'd seen it a few times, but it was always high up in a tree or kind of far away, like with a lot of brush between me and it, or I see it perched somewhere for one second and then it's off again. And so I thought, okay, if there's a prothonotary warbler they're this close I'm gonna hang here for a few minutes and see if I can get a good look at it and I realized when I first saw it that it was a different bird than I was hearing so I actually had two warblers in the area and they were basically just swirling around me for about 10 or 15 minutes I'd hear them sing and every now and then I'd get one up on a perch and I'd get it get the bird in focus I'd hold the shutter down and take as many photos as I could before it flew off again I eventually decided, okay, I should probably get home. And I took off and I had this feeling that I'd gotten some good shots. And the shot that I submitted jumped out at me right away because it was a nice clear shot of the bird. It had a nice bouquet in the background that I'm never thinking about when I'm taking pictures. So that was totally just a lucky shot. And I really liked the photo right away. So much to the point that my wife and I actually had it printed on a canvas for our dining room at one point. So it's just really satisfying to see that photo selected. I hope you've enjoyed the stories behind each of the winning photos of this year's photo contest. If you'd like to purchase your 2024 Mug Club membership, which includes the mug featuring Jeannie Stoddard's Cape May Warbler photo for $25, the most convenient way to do that is online at miottawa.org slash birding. You'll find the link in the description of this video as well. Purchased mugs can be picked up at the Nature Center at Hemlock Crossing County Park. This year, students from the Career Line Tech Center created the 2024 calendar using their favorites and the winning photos. These can be purchased for $25 at future Coffee with the Birds events. Lastly, I invite you to join us this winter for a Coffee with the Birds event at the Nature Center. And remember, it's not too early to start taking photos for the 2024 photo contest. Photos taken between November 1st, 2023 and October 31st, 2024 are eligible. Good luck.